grace, peace, and blessings be unto you, beloved. I am your cyber shepherd and your cyber pastor, Apostle BBJ. You know, oftentimes we feel we have so much time to do this and to do that, but the Bible says that our life is but a vapor. And so we don't have the time that we really think we have. You know, the Bible says this in Hebrews 9 and 27. Uh, it is appointed unto men once to die, and after that, the judgment. We all have to leave here at some time. But the key is this. We ought to focus and grasp the thing that we've been called to do, our anointing, our calling, the very thing that the Most High called us to do in this life, the why we are here, our purpose. Many times we do a lot of religious things, ceremonial things and ritualistic things, and we feel that that's good enough, but it's really not. Uh, it's sad to win all type of awards and accolades and get props and people big you up for what you do in this world, but you never acknowledge or embrace what you've been called to do. Now that's tragic. To stand before Almighty God and not be able to say, Lord, I acknowledged my calling. I did what you said to do. You know, it wasn't about the money that I, you know, I, I, I put toward this organization or that organization or the time I put in this or the time I volunteered with that. You know, good works is not going to do it. But obedience is the way. And I want to tell you this. In Matthew, we find these words. I believe Matthew, I want to say 12 and 36. Every idle word that man says, we're going to have to give account for it on the day of judgment. Every idle word. So whether you're a creative person and uh, you know you create music, you, you create lyrics, you create some type of correspondence, or perhaps you're a person who, you know, you're behind the scenes working and you're influential in speaking to people or counseling people or giving people advice. Perhaps you're a preacher like me, a pastor or, you know, a leader in some case or, or some sort uh, where you're leading people. Be careful how you speak to people. Be careful the things you say. Words are very influential. Words are powerful. Remember, it is the word of God that framed all things. And you see, we all going to have to give an account at some point. I'll leave you with this. One of my great mentors and fathers of the faith, the late great Dr. Miles Monroe said, the graveyard is one of the most, uh, most wealthiest places on the earth because this is where all the ideas, the innovation, and all of the great vision that never came into fruition is buried along with those who carried that vision, that dream that new entrepreneurial uh, you know, breakthrough vision or that new creative vision, that song that was never recorded or that, that, that sermon that was never preached because someone didn't embrace their call or that lesson that was never taught because someone refused to accept the fact that they were called to teach. Whatever you're called to do, beloved, be about it because you don't know what tomorrow's gonna bring. I am your apostle your cyber shepherd and to the entire global God Corps assembly and to the God Corps coalition as well as all of our hood shepherds I want you to reevaluate your time your family your loved ones your call you know this movement is real we're an end time kingdom power movement and we're all about winning souls and saving souls winning them for that is the wise thing to do according to Proverbs 11 and 30 I love you, and I pray the blessings of the Lord be upon you. And I want you to really consider the things I said and shared with you at this time. Life isn't short. It's just too many of us, we procrastinate when it comes to living. I love you. Shalom.